Hello and welcome to another session of Senior Fact Tutorials by Hyper Lyceum Team. This video was made by Amin Ganjabi and narrated by Kusha Puramadani. In this session, we are going to explain how to simulate the tensile strengths in a resistance spot welded component. In the previous session, we learned how to simulate resistance spot welding, and today we are going to take that further and test the tensile strengths in an already defined model. To start with, we need to add two new fixing and one clamping components to our model. Double click on the process to open the process settings window. Add two to the number of fixings and one to the current number of clampings. Then select OK and close the window. As you can see in the process tree panel here, the newly added components are shown in red. It means they are still incomplete and we need to define their properties. We are going to define one of them as an example now. Right click on one of the fixing components and select generate geometry. In the details menu, first set the origin coordinates to zero and change all the units from meter to millimeter. Keep in mind that there are other units to use based on your application. Next, import the fixing's positioning and shape properties. In our model, it's located at 215, comma, 1.2,22.5 mm while it's 0.8 mm in width, 1 mm in height and 45 mm in depth. Once you're finished with the details menu, you can move on to the primitive menu to define the mesh settings. Here we set the mesh slices in the X, Y and Z directions to 2, 1 and 45. Now select OK and close the window. Now that we have completed defining all of our new fixings and clampings components, you can see that the color has been changed into black. For the next step, we need to set the deactivation time for our process. In this example, the middle sheet moves at the speed of 8 mm per minute over the 230 seconds duration of the process. To do so, double click on the fixing component in the process tree. Enable deactivation and set the deactivation time at 230 seconds. Do the same thing for the other fixing component. As for the clamping components, make sure that the data for a moving clamp has been included on top of enabling the deactivation time. For clamping dash 7, set the start and the ending time at 100 and 230 seconds while setting the start and the ending position to 0 and 17.3 mm. Finally, make sure to set the value of x to minus 1. On the other hand, for clamping dice 6, we only need to set the deactivation time at 100 seconds. The model is now ready to be analyzed. After running the analysis, you can observe the results throughout the whole process duration simply by clicking on the results option at the bottom of the process tree. The animation will be shown on the right side of the screen. If you right click on the results and select history plot from the list, a new window will be displayed in which we can see and compare the different plots for the defined components. For example, by enabling clamping dash 7 on the top right and changing the value of the y axis to the force in x direction, its relevant plot will be shown on the left. To export the data under the CSV format, use this button over here. We've come to the end of another session of our Simufact tutorials. If you have any questions, please let us know using the Q&A section on our website. Thank you for watching the video and until the next time, have a good time. This video was made by Amin Ganjan. To find his contact information and updated resume, please visit our website hyperlyceum.com. Amin is an expert in Simufact, Caesar, PDMS, and some other engineering software. To plan an online session, discuss industrial and academic projects, please use the provided email address under Amin's profile. The costs of projects vary depending on the complexity of the work and can be discussed in advance. We are looking forward to working with you.